Hi there, I'm Lee Cooper and welcome to Paramount Fitness. And in today's video, I want to explain and demonstrate how to perform the single arm row to develop your back. Now the single arm row is a great unilateral exercise. And unilateral basically means using one side of the body or one limb at a time. So when performing this exercise, we can often identify discrepancies in terms of our strength from our right to our left. In this short video, I'm going to explain exactly what you need to do in terms of setup, range of movement and control to get the most out of your single arm row. Now, as you can see, your setup is very important. You need to have a very stable and solid foundation before you even start the exercise. So I make sure that my spine is nice and lengthened, the back of my ear, the shoulder and the hip are in a nice straight line before I even start executing the movement. My hips are level and I find this position as a result of making sure that my knees are adjacent to each other during the setup. Now as you can see from the other side, again my knees are in line with each other making sure that my hips remain level, my spine is lengthened from my hip, my shoulder and my ear so there's a nice straight line and I'm supported by my non-working arm to make sure that I'm strong throughout the exercise. One thing to note is that whilst performing each repetition you're driving your elbow up towards the ceiling and pulling your shoulder blade back round so you get a nice squeeze behind the shoulder blade and into the upper back. You'll see from this angle that my foundations and again my setup is quite wide. This allows me to transfer a lot of my energy through the ground and I'm very stable throughout. My non-working arm is directly underneath my shoulder. So my wrist, my elbow and my shoulder in a nice straight line. I once again reset my shoulder blade, making sure my working arm is in a good position. I ensure that I work through the full range of movement, taking the arm all the way through to fully lengthen and once again making sure that I'm driving the elbow up and back at the top of the movement. 